Welcome to Talking Trash, and today we're going to be making some recipes. Not the kind that we're going to eat, though, the kind that we're going to wear. That's much more fun for me. I'm not so good in the kitchen when it comes to eating recipes. So I went shopping this weekend and found some books. And so, uh, of course, I my focus is green books, and so I love to find out recipes that are green for the planet and ways that we can simple ways that we can help the earth. This is a great one for kids. It's good for adults though too. And then this is, uh, this is one that I'm just starting to go through and it is I have some recipes from the kitchen. So just a few suggestions when we're making things in the kitchen for our, our bodies basically. If you want to make your own cosmetics, do some research, look online, look at some things that you, that you want to do and then um, there's just a, a couple ideas that you want to kind of pay attention to. Always use fresh ingredients. So if you can, walk down to your garden, as I did this morning. I wish we had smell-o-vision. This smells absolutely wonderful. This would be a great thing. To, it's actually Russian sage. We, we want to use if this fresh if we can. So do that. Mm, that smells good. Mm. Aromath aromatherapy, is that what that's called? Smells good. Use uh, fresh, as close to fresh dried herbs as you can. If you can pick them and then dry them yourselves, that'd be great. Uh, buy essential oils. That's, you can buy those at, at health food stores, at local grocery stores. Buy the pure essential oils. That's in there. And then look and see if they're edible, if they're non-edible, and how the application of them. So pay attention to that. This one happens to be lavender, my, one of my favorite, favorite smells. Um, make sure that your equipment that you start out with is clean, that it just came out of the dishwasher, that you just washed it, so that it's, it's clean so you're not introducing germs and that kind of thing into it. And then um, make them in small batches, make your, your batches into small batches, similar to this size or this size, because there are no preservatives when you make it, they, they're not going to last as long as the things that we buy at the store. So just keep those few things in mind. And then be creative. Have fun with it. So something simple. Let's make some stress-free bath salts. So we can start out with Epsom salts. We have one cup of Epsom salts. One cup. One cup. They, they look really interesting. I'm going to grab a bowl here that I put away. We're going to put the, our um, salts in here. Put it in here. Then we want baking soda, a fourth of a cup of baking soda. And I measured actually, I'm going to put that in there. I measured this and this is a half a cup. So I'm just going to do a fourth of a cup of baking soda. Put that in there. We want a fourth of a cup of sea salt. Mm, these, this, I love sea salt. And then 15 drops of lavender. And so, mm, gotta smell it first. One. And, and you know, just, just dip and, and I bet that's just about 15. Then we are going to stir. Mmm, this even smells, oops. That's how I cook when I cook in the kitchen too. I'm spilling all over. Mmm, this smells just heavenly. Whoop. Have fun with it. I like making a mess because it's kind of fun cleaning it up too. So this is ready to go. How simple is that? Absolutely simple. You just mix it up like that and then make sure it's in an air con airtight container. So whether it's a glass container or a plastic one, I'm going to grab my lid again, and you want to put that in an airtight container, label it, and then put it in your refrigerator. And then when you're ready to use it, voila, have fun.